Charlotte, it's four o'clock. <laughs> Come on. But it's not for me. <laughs> welcome to the back of our new van. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, our channel, Two Fox One Cat. We're renovating the back of our van, and today we're gonna dye, well, tint, dye, stain, whatever it's called, the worktop, all this new worktop and the drawers with uh, red wine and then with uh, another thing that we've also made that we're going to put on top that we're going to show you later so from that we got some Cabernet Sauvignon so really you just need any cheap wine this wine was like two euro fifty it doesn't matter what it is just cheap but it's re rich in tannin because we are going to use stain wool and it reacts with tannin so the more tannin the better and Merlot Cabernet Sauvignon has a lot of tannin okay so let's start I'm going to start with the cupboards the drawers so we've done a few tries on a piece of wood before and we kind of like the result so it should be all right. Gonna make like a kind of gray blue taint. The wine first is gonna make it like a pink color. Cool, so we're just gonna let that dry and see how it turns out. Hey! Hello. Okay, so here I have a solution of uh, white wine vinegar and um, steel wool and we left it for about two days right two days two days and the steel wool it kind of releases metals into the oil into the vinegar acetate. or acetate or so i don't i'm not really sure about what happens but basically it makes it into more of a rusty solution right right something to do with the rust and you want to use as um thin as steel wool as you can and the longer you leave it the more the wool will dissolve in the vinegar so we only left it for two days and now we're going to paint it onto here and we'll show you the results. Okay, cue time lapse. Okay, so now we're going to do the rest. Let's get on with it. Cool, so we are moving on to the drawers because we are quite happy with the result. This guy, attention. It really gives like a kind of a purpley dark. Purple and it's really nice, we like it. So we're gonna do the rest. But it's crazy how it comes from uh, pink to blue. Okay, let's think some more. Charlotte, it's four o'clock. <laughs> Come on. But it's not for me. <laughs> Who is it for? It's for the wood. It's thirsty. Ah, okay. Mm. And it's French wood. It's French yeah, wood. So. It makes sense. It's <laughs> ah, c'est pour ça. And it's starting to dry here, and as you can see, it's really pink. So you can't really see on the light right now, but it's all pink. And once we're gonna put the vinegar, it's gonna become blue like that. Looks gray. cool. More of a gray blue. More of a gray blue. Looks super nice. It was so easy and it was so cheap. Just a bottle of wine. And, and some vinegar. Some vinegar. And some steel wool. And the wine that hasn't been used is gonna be drunk. drunk. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna cover everything in the vinegar mixture and see how it goes.
Okay, so it's late now and uh, the vinegar concoction, co co <laughs> the, the vinegar concoction uh, is finished. <laughs> and I'm now gonna put the varnish because it takes four hours to dry. And then tomorrow morning we'll put a second coat. We've tried a bit earlier. Where is it? It's here. We tried a bit earlier, the, the light is really bad right now, excuse me, but it, it gives a very nice result with the varnish. So, let's get to it. since we filmed we've had a few things happen like we had to we had to send the GoPro off uh, to GoPro because we smashed the screen a little while ago and since we're back at Enzo's place we have an address so we go went to get it sent off so we haven't had the GoPro and also I got the flu so I've been sick for the last few days so I haven't really done anything, but Enzo has been a busy bee. Yes. He's made all of these boxes. Yes. They look like mini crates. They're super cute. From old wood. It's from old wood. Old pine that was uh, getting, it was getting, uh, how do you say? Rotten. It was getting rotten and I just sent it all and did all those little crates. Crates? <laughs> crates. 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 And then they look <laughs> super cool and right now, we found some rope and we're putting the rope so our stuff are not gonna fall down and then I just have to fix all those to the worktop and it's all cool yeah and then we can start putting everything back and we haven't showed you guys but the worktop is uh, Look at the color Ooh. is varnish and everything we it won't we won't show you the whole thing till the big reveal but look at the color isn't it nice Ooh. yeah and natural and hopefully we'll get the gopro soon so we can uh, show you guys around but it's almost finished few almost details there. few details oh, left and also and some made us a new bin that's it new bin it's pretty cool it's so cute and it's dog proof dog proof because we were uh, tired that uh, neo would get into the bin and get stuff that he was not supposed to eat so now we can't get there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. So we're gonna get on with the boxes, and we'll show you. maybe we'll show you after. Welcome to the back of our new van. So we spent the last month renovating the back of our van, as you can see, and now it looks completely different. We took out a whole panel here and we removed all the table that was here before. We're super happy with the results. So we're just gonna show you guys what we did. So as you come down here, we made a little spot for Neo's food because it's always, it was always getting in the way and we didn't have enough room for it. So here we have his food. Maybe one day we'll get like a container for it, but for now we just put the bag inside. And then there's a little space at the back to store some of his toys that he's not using all the time. So that's where we have that. Um, this is our food area. This was already here before, so this isn't new, but this is where we store our um, fresh produce and vegetables and things like that. And as you come up, you can see our beautiful work tarp that are all pine, but we stained with red wine and a mixture of steel wool and vinegar. And it created this super cool bluey kind of gray color. And then we varnished over the top uh, with a special varnish that is for like heat resistant, knife resistant, water, and water resistant. So it's gonna make the, la the wood last a lot longer because here we're using it before and it was getting kind of moldy. If you wanna come a bit further back, here is a special area that we made for my loom. Um, my loom is foldable, which is great. So we made a little area here. And that's why this area is raised up a bit higher than this area because my loom is a little bit taller. And then we have three drawers that Enzo made. This one is for all my art stuff and weaving things. This one we have pharmacy inside. We have a lot of pharmacy. 
And because then, you never know. Because you never know. Coronavirus. And then this one just has our electrical stuff inside. And they're super easy to use. And we just put on these nice little cast iron handles. They're kind of antique -y. And then here we have uh, a place where we're going to put our dirty washing. Um, Enzo made this as well. Uh, we just want to get a bag to put inside, like a laundry bag. We haven't found one yet, so that's where we, our dirty laundry will go. And then here we have a space for all our recycling. This is where we put all our rubbish for recycling. And then last but not least, Enzo made all of these little mini crates for storing our books, which I'm super happy about. They're really cool and I am a big book fan, so it was really nice to have a place to put all of our books. So from the top over here, we have all of our, uh, well, all of our French books. These are all books in French. I'm reading Harry Potter at the moment in French. Uh, and then we have some, what's his name? Bernard Ver Verbe. Bernard Verbe. <laughs> we have this guy. And then we have, uh, we have one English book, John Grisham. Um, and yeah, so there's a few that people have given us throughout the years where people suggest they're good books for me to read in French that I haven't read yet. I will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then moving down here, we have our little um, sprouting area for growing our sprouts. Um, super nice to grow, really easy nice little thing to have and then here we have all of our uh, climbing guides for places that we've been climbing places that we want to go climbing um, and then moving right left sorry we have all of our games we're big on playing games we have lots of different types mini monopoly Le Roi des Nains. this one is fun Shot zombie and kids Totten. zombie kids is the last one we got with monopoly so it's super cool to have games in the van if you have friends over then something to do and also um you know if we don't have any internet or something uh, and then here we just have some french books if anyone is looking to learn french this book is super good for learning french um, it's not cheap, but it's really good and it comes with a audio. audio. There we go. It comes with an audio. It's really good. Uh, and then we just have some cards, our dice, which go with this lady for playing Demir. And then you may be wondering why we have an old iron, but I actually use this for um, weaving because we don't have enough energy in the van to use a electronic iron and it seems like a waste of energy. I have this guy, super cool because you just put it on the gas, bam, on the gas. And we have a glove for heat and then it heats up and then I can iron my work, my weaving. It's really cool. And it looks cool. And then in here we have uh, just some notebooks and I have my um, Polaroid camera. And yeah, uh, it's not finished. We have a few things to add, maybe some fairy lights. I'd like to put some, um, some little succulent plants or something. Plants that we won't kill because every plant we have we've killed. Oh, and here I just have some weaving books. And um, yeah, that's it. Oh, almost forgot the secret area. Why is there a crack in the wood? Do -do -do. Because it comes out like this. And then here I have all of my yarn and my sewing machine, which is down here. All of my yarn, my sewing machine, some material. Tucks nicely away there. Nice fit. And you wouldn't even know it's there. Super cool. And I made this awesome new bin for us. All made out of reused wood and it's super nice and unique. Because our old bin was plastic and it was ugly and it was getting dirty and you couldn't just open it and put your stuff in the bin. It was like a bin thing, so it was really not practical. And uh, I just have to varnish the bottom because with the moisture, the wood is starting to rot a little bit. So I'm just going to finish the varnish at the bottom. and. Uh, yeah, really unique bin. It took me like a couple hours to do that. And it's all recycled wood. Most of what we've done here is recycled wood, except the top. The tops are new. It cost me like about 60, 70 euro. And all the rest is recycled. So that concludes the end of our back of the van tour. If you would like to see a whole tour of our van, then let us know in the comments. And we hope you enjoyed this video and let us know what you thought of our little renovation. Uh, and if you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time. Bye!